Hey y'all, welcome to my channel, Just Symphony, but you can call me Symphony. How y'all doing? I am bringing you guys a curly half up, half down look today. And I'm not going to waste no time. Y'all see the intro, so we're going to get straight into it. Alright, starting off, I'm um, starting off on freshly washed and blow dried hair. So I'm just going to part my hair, um, kind of like in half, but um, you know, of course the back portion is going to be a little bigger. So I'm just going to make a, a U shape around the crown of my head you know now starting my parts kind of basically from the tip of my ear to the other tip of my ear is kind of how I'm going now I'm gonna just be honest with y'all my parts are not perfect um, at all you can kind of see but you know what it's okay you see that it's okay it ain't got to be perfect because they're not gonna be able to tell anyway all right so don't stress it here I'm just kind of measuring my sections, kind of gauging everything, make sure it's a nice proportion for my half up, half down, and it is. So I'm just going to twist the top part up so it can get out of my way, and then we're going to focus on the back. So this is what the back of my head looks like, and that's kind of what the section looks like in the whole. So yes, you guys, now we're just going to start by braiding the back. Now, I am far from a good braider, okay? I cannot braid a lick, and y'all can see when I finish this braid, y'all be able to see, you know. But, you know, the braid doesn't have to be perfect for the style. It just needs to be secure enough just to get the hair on, okay? But y'all, I'm look, let me tell you, my brain skills are none and void. They're just not it. Now y'all see what I'm saying? Like you see these braids. They're not good at all. But you know what? It's okay because this is enough to get the hair on. So if you're not a good braider like me, it I promise you it's okay. As long as you have something. But really, this style, if you just can't get a braid up there at all you can do this style braid list okay you really don't necessarily have to have the braids now it's time to work on the top section so i'm just kind of detangling everything Next, I'm going to just begin by using my gel. I'm using Eco Styler Gel to slick my hair and pull it up into a ponytail. Once you have your hair up in the ponytail, now we're just going to twist, um, you know, the little loose hair just to get it out the way. So I'm just going to two strand twist this all the way down. And once I get it to the end, I'm going to make a small little bun on the top of my head. And this bun is important because this is how we will be attaching the crochet hair. Gotta add a little more gel to my edges and stuff, y'all. Cause mm, 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 you know your edges, child, they got a mind of their own. So I'm just gonna do a little bit more gelling, and then we're going to, of course, wrap our hair with the satin scarf. Okay, we can't just gel and you know not wrap it. We gotta get it molded and you know laid. You know what I mean? We gotta get it laid. So we're gonna put our satin scarf on for a little minute. Oh, 
okay so now here is the hair that we are using it is the jamaican bounce crochet hair from the beauty supply store this hair is very affordable you guys i think it's like a dollar 98 per pack so pretty good price and it's nice hair so now we're just going to start by crocheting the hair on so we're just going to start in the back and just fill everything in now with this i am taking the whole section of crochet i'm not separating the crochet first i'm just putting the whole thing on okay and I'm just going to do that for the entire back of my hair. One thing I really appreciate about this style is how easy it is to do. And it really doesn't take long, you guys. I mean, honestly, it could take you no more than an hour. The most time-consuming thing about this style is crocheting the hair on. Again, like I said, that really doesn't even take long either. So, it's just a really easy style. And, it, you know, this style can last you like a week or two. I wore this for a week. And I could have wore it a little longer, honestly. But, you know, I wore it for a week. So, you can definitely pull this off for two weeks, maybe three, depending. All right, now that the back is filled in, we're just gonna start by crocheting our bun. It's pretty much the same process. Just stick the needle through the bun, attach the hair and pull it through. So, you know, it's nothing to it, you guys. And we're just gonna kind of go and just fill in all the spaces with the crochet hair. So now that I have everything pretty much filled into my liking, we are going to go through and separate the hair now. And this is kind of like the same thing you would do, like you say you did a twist out and you separate your hair after taking your twist down. So yeah. So we're just going to kind of separate the curls. Um, it'll help, you know, fluff our hair out, make it fuller, and just look a little bit more natural. Okay.
all right y'all so now that i have my hair separated i'm just going to go through and start cutting some of the curls and i'm doing this to basically give it some shape and kind of style it really you know so i'm just going to kind of go through cut away and kind of get it you know styled a little bit get the curls laying right and looking right so yeah This step is important because you don't want your curls to be uneven and you just don't want your head to be uneven, you know? So it is important to kind of go through and cut the hair and kind of shape it and style it. boom and we are done you guys look at that look at them curls honey look at them curls so cute so cute i love the style y'all thank you for tuning into this video leave a comment down below give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and make sure you are subscribed to my channel so you will not miss any uploads from me all right you guys thank you for tuning in and i will see you on my next one Bye bye